Welcome to this Excel tutorial where I'm going to show you how to automate the creation of an error summary worksheet. That means that with the click of a button, you are going to find all of the errors in your workbook. You are going to be able to see exactly the formulas that cause the error, the error type, or where it's located, and to navigate to that error with the click of a button. As easy as that. And how we are going to do this is to create a macro. But don't worry, don't leave yet. You do not have to know how to use a macro. You do not have to know how to program or code. We are going to combine AI with VBA so that we can type in the prompt that I'm going to give you, or you can copy paste it, and have the code generated that will automatically create an errors summary worksheet in any workbook that you need it. And it works like this. Let me delete this worksheet and show you how. I got this new worksheet from my colleague. I do not trust them. Alt F8. We find the macro find formula errors. Click it, run. Five formula errors found in the workbook. Now we can investigate, fix, and hopefully have a productive day. Now this tutorial is going to be the start of a complete automating Excel with AI course that I am starting. If you are interested in making your life easier but not having to learn all of the VBA code required, then sign up for the course email. I'll put a link to it below this video, and then I'll notify you when the course is ready. This is separate from our normal newsletter on teachexcel.com. Now, let me show you how to make this beautiful worksheet. First, we need a prompt. Here is our prompt. And if you've been watching my previous tutorials on AI and Excel, this will look familiar to you. I'm not going to cover everything for how to structure it right here. What I'm going to do is to show you the prompt now, show you how to use it. Then we're going to swing back around at the end and I'll go through it. The bold items are what you will need to change for your worksheet, but you don't need to change it so long as you do not already have a worksheet called errors. And please back up your workbook before you run any macros in it. Now let's grab this prompt, copy it, head over to ChatGPT model 4.0, paste it, submit. It's going to write a beautiful macro for us. Here it's opened up a canvas, a beautiful feature in ChatGPT that allows us to work with code that it creates but our macro is complete. So uh, let us copy this guy. Go back to Excel, Alt F11 to go to the VBA window because we are making a macro. This is where we put our macros. Then we can go to Insert, Module, Paste in uh, that macro, and we are ready to test it. Let's go back to the worksheet. Alt F8 gives us access to all the macros in our workbook. Then we click it, find formula errors. That is the name of it. Hit run. Five formula errors found in the workbook. Error scan complete. You have just automated your workflow without having to know any VBA. Now let me show you the system that you are going to need in order to create this. So what we have here is we first tell it what it is. You're an expert in Excel VBA and macros. Then we give it very clear instructions. Remember, if it's easy for you to read, it's easy for the AI to read. And that's what we want. Then down here, we define the structure of our errors worksheet. This is the most interesting part of the entire prompt because it allows us to add additional values. Let me move this over. We can see here we have sheet name. That is the title, sheet name. It goes into column A right there. And what is it going to do? It's going to return the name of the sheet where the error was found. Data monitor. And we follow that pattern for all four columns. That allows you to remove or add values. Let's add one value in just a moment. But before I get down there, the other thing to remember, like I said at the beginning, is this. This is the name of the worksheet. And the way that we have written this macro, this prompt that will create the macro, is that it will delete the worksheet if it already exists. So make sure that you do not have a worksheet that already exists with that name. If you do, change the name 
right here. Now let's go down here and let's go ahead and return the actual formula that has the error. Let's just call it formula with error. Let's put it in column E and let's say return the formula that has the error. It should be stored as plain text. Copy that, paste it in, enter. And here we go. And I can see it is already a little bit different, but that's how AI works. This is a really fun way to input values with ease, but I'm not going to talk about that here. <laughs> Let's just copy it. Go back to Excel, Alt F11. And I'm going to completely replace this macro, but you might want to keep a bunch of them in one module for testing. And if you need to do that, if they have the same name up here, you can just go ahead and name them however you want, maybe zero, one, two. But now that we have the new macro, if we click in here and then click the green button up here, or as you can see, hit F5. Five formula errors found just like before, but now we have our formulas that have the errors. So it makes it even easier to go through and see, hmm, what could be wrong? Sheet 40. Do I have a sheet 40 down here? I don't think so. That looks like a problem. We've got it here as well. And what is seven divided by zero? So we have made our life even easier. Now we are at the end. You have all the power you need to take this prompt and make your life so much better saving a lot of time. So go ahead and download this prompt and try it out. Make sure you back up your workbooks beforehand, of course. You can get this for free at teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to it below this video. You do have to sign up, but the account is completely free. You'll be added to our newsletter where you can get our weekly tips and tricks, but you can unsubscribe at any time. But now let us go through this. First off, as usual, Tell it what it is. Hey, AI, you are an expert in Excel VBA and macros, and you will write me a VBA macro for Excel. The macro must. Colon, numbered, bulleted, list. Beautiful. Remember, easy for you to read, easy for the AI to read. Now, up here, I just say step-by-step step what I want it to do. Break it into as many small pieces as you require. First off, create an error worksheet named errors, quotation marks are your friend, or clear an existing one if it exists. When you run this macro, uh, that statement there, which is a little bit ambiguous, might make it so that it just clears a worksheet if it exists, or it will actually try to first delete the worksheet if it exists, then add a new one. That's how AI works. It won't always give you the same result. If you know VBA already, by the way, it's really fun to play with this and see what it comes up with. Number two, put a title in cell A1 of the error worksheet that reads errors found and make its font size 20 pixels and bold. Three, locate all formula errors in the entire workbook. Scan all worksheets to do this except the error worksheet. Then we have a few more items which are very similar to that. List some information, column headers will be used and must start in row two below the title of the worksheet. Column headers should be in bold. Number seven was pretty important when crafting this prompt. The data that is being stored should be placed directly below the column header. Otherwise, it was overriding the header. Once finished, auto fit the columns so the data is easier to read. Very helpful. It makes sure that the columns expand so that none of the visible data is cut off. At the end, go to the error worksheet, display a pop up, and tell me how many errors were found. If you wanted, you could give it the specific text that it should output here as well. Just make some sub bullet points like this, A, B, C. So we could go in here, tab in, say, make the title of the pop-up window this, put the title in quotation marks, and so on. We do not need to do that here. Number 10, really important. I found that out through trial and error. When referencing cells on other worksheets, remember we link to the problem cell, Allow for spaces in the name of that worksheet. You can reference a cell on a separate worksheet one way if it's a single word, but you have to do it a little bit different if there's a space in there. I forgot to input that the first time I made this prompt had some errors, had to troubleshoot it. 
But since I have a beautiful framework here for the prompt, it was very easy. I added a new bullet point and it fixed the problem. The next one, 11, amazing. This is great. You need structure. Even though it seems simple, you need structure. The list below explains what data to collect and where to put it and what headers to use for the column. This list is between start list, end list, tags. Quotation marks, very important. Then we tell AI how to interpret this list. The format is name, column with brackets, data with parentheses. The whole thing is in quotes. Name is the header text. Column is the column into which the value should be placed. Data is the description of the data to store. So notice when we go down to our start list, we have the header. We've put it in quotation marks here just to make it easier when there's a little space between it. Uh, then in between the brackets, the column, column A, B, C, D, E. Uh, then in between the parentheses, what we want it to return. Now you could have a different setup for this. It just needs to be easy to understand and easy to replicate. It was very easy for us to add this down here because we have a format to follow. Now that's all for this prompt and that's all I'm going to cover in this tutorial. But remember, AI plus a well-crafted prompt is going to save you, honestly, hours and hours and hours of time every week. It's beautiful, it's amazing. And I am going to be starting a full course on automating Excel with AI. So specifically how to create your VBA, your macros, send out automatic emails, do all sorts of beautiful things, storing data, retrieving data, deleting data, all sorts of things that would have required my full Excel VBA course. I'm going to teach you how to do using AI. If you are interested in that course, make sure to subscribe to the course email that is specifically for the release of that course. I'll put a link to it below this video. If you sign up for that, then you'll get a notification when the course is ready. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share it with all of your friends. But for now, that's all there is. See you next time.